In this video, I'm going to show you a comparison between the grid method for polynomial division and long division. Okay? There are two real alternatives for doing polynomial division. I was originally taught on the long division method when I did my A-levels. Um, but over the last couple of years, um, I have adopted the grid method as I feel it is easier to follow and to understand and takes up less space. But I wanted to show you an example of one versus the other. If your teacher um, uses the long division method, that's perfectly fine and that's the way that you've learnt. It's perfect. It works. And if you can do it, then that's fine. Um, but if you are looking for potentially another way of doing it or checking that the method you're using is right, um, then maybe this video will be of interest to you. So I'm going to work through this example. We're going to divide 3x cubed minus 2x plus 4 by x plus 3. Okay, And I'm going to do it by um, the grid method first. Okay, So the grid method first would say that we've got x plus 3. And we want to get 3x cubed. So we'd have to multiply x by 3x squared to make 3x cubed. 3x squared times 3 is 9x squared. We don't want 9x squared because there's no x squareds there, so we're going to have to take away 9x squared. So x is into minus 9x squared is minus 9x. Minus 9x times 3 is minus 27x. I don't want minus 27x, I want minus 2x, so I've got to add on another 25x. x is into 25x go 25. 25 times 3 is 75 OK, so when I divide 3x cubed minus 2x plus 4 by x plus 3, what I get is 3x squared minus 9x plus 25, this bit on the top. But because I've got 75 and I actually want 4, I've got to take away an extra 71. So I get minus 71 over x plus 3. The minus 71 is the remainder, what I've got left over. OK, so that is using the grid method. Now, using long division, how this works is that I write x plus 3, and I'm going to be dividing 3x cubed. Now, there's no x squared term, but I've got to include it. So I'm going to write 0x squared minus 2x plus 4. So what happens is I write x is into 3x cubed go 3x squared. 3x squared times those two terms is 3x cubed plus 9x squared. Then I draw a line and perform a subtraction. 3x cubed take away 3x cubed is 0x cubed. And I've got 0x squared take away 9x squared so minus 9x squared. And I bring the next term down x is into minus 9x squared to go minus 9x. Minus 9x times these two terms is minus 9x squared. Uh, take away 27x. Then I've got minus 9x squared, take away 9, minus 9x squared is 0x squared. Minus 2x, take away minus 27x is plus 25x. Bring the next term down. x is into 25x, go 25. 25 times these two terms is 25x. Uh, plus 75, draw a line, perform a subtraction, I get 0x, and 4 take away 75 is minus 71. Okay, And what I get is what is on the top line, 3x squared minus 9x plus 25, and I've got a remainder of minus 71, which I can put over the x plus 3. Okay, So these are the two alternative versions I personally prefer this one now, and I prefer teaching it. Um, students seem to pick it up quicker. But as I said, you know, if you like uh, using the long division method and you're happy with its work and how it works, then that is fine. 